Hey everybody, it's Kim. Welcome back to another episode of Empower, which is a faith-based um, women's empowerment movement that is, I don't know if it's a movement, more so an initiative, um, but the design of it is to encourage and embolden and empower women to come into an agreement with who God created us to be. Um, it's a God-given purpose that I have it's something that I enjoy doing. I post videos on Mondays. Um, I'm thankful that you joined me today. If this is your first time, thank you for clicking. If you have been here before, welcome back, sis. We are family now. Uh, let's get into today's video topic, which is the gift of goodbye. Have you ever gotten a gift from somebody and it required assembly or maintenance has somebody ever given you a, a plant or a flower and you had to take care of this thing or you maybe have gotten a puppy or a kitten or um ikea furniture that you had to put together or anything that required some work that's kind of what we're talking about today the gift of goodbye it's important that as women, as people in general, but this is geared toward women and girls, um, that we assess ourselves and our environment, which includes people around us, um, for value. And if it isn't adding value, we need to consider telling it goodbye um, or that person goodbye and I, it's the, the reason that I want to talk about this is because I've been doing a lot of work on myself um, prior to pandemic but especially in the past year I have been doing a lot of <laughs> reflection and work on myself and I had to come to an understanding with myself that some things that I had always believed were a part of my personality or a part of who I am or not. Uh, they were trauma responses based on some type of um, experience or interaction that I had with a person um, that, that I embedded and then began to... Um, protect and feed and let it grow into what I thought was my personality but upon looking and investigating it I found out where did that come from that that wasn't a part of who you were you accumulated that and now you've given it a place and, and it's assimilated now into who you present yourself as, how people experience you, that's not, that's not it. Uh, that's not how it's supposed to be. And I had to come to, it. listen, I'm still <laughs> trying to uproot some of these things. So when I'm talking, I'm not trying to insinuate or pretend uh, that these things are easy. They're necessary though. And I'm a person who kind of bottom lines and if it's necessary, it's just necessary. Um, so things that need to go, <laughs> um, procrastination or fear, um, using our pursuit of perfection as a way to procrastinate, uh, the things that we do or have done, um, that we're like, oh, that's just my personality type. You know, you take those personality. It says that's what. Just because, even if it is a part of your personality, you should probably give yourself the gift of goodbye uh, with these behaviors, with certain things, certain people that um, are always. Nothing about your interaction with them is positive. Nothing about y'all's conversations is uplifting or helpful. And it's not 
just something that you are feeling today because you're off. This is a consistent narrative with this person that every time I leave your presence, I feel worse. Like there's nothing that I'm gaining. You should gift yourself a goodbye from them. And the reason that I started this off by talking about a gift that requires work is because if something has been a part of you, something has been um, a coping mechanism for you, uh, a way to keep people out, um, a way to keep yourself from being accountable for uh, lack of action or anything, it's hard sometimes to, to get rid of it but you know that once you will, it would you'll have the gift of a better being a better you, being a freer you, being a more authentic you, being a person who is productive. Um, so the gift in the goodbye is what happens after. I had to come to grips with the fact that I am a perfectionist, yes. And I was allowing that to I was pretending that that would, um, that's the reason why I couldn't do certain things. Um, or because I had never done something before, I knew it wasn't going to be perfect on my first, first time out. So I'm not going to start it. I'm not putting my name on something that's not perfect. Um, for those of you who don't know, I wrote a children's book and it's been, um, out for about two and a half, three weeks now. Um, I'll leave the information for it in the description of this. Uh, but I didn't bring that up for a plug. There's a reason for me talking about it. I never wanted to write a book. Never. I never, definitely never wanted to write a children's book. Didn't believe it was. When the thought came, I was like, a no. I'll tell somebody else about it maybe or wait till somebody else does one because I don't write books and I really don't write children's books. And so I had the, the text of the book in like 30 minutes. It was written down. I kept it, didn't do a thing with it. <laughs> then I started on it, uh, got an illustrator, some things fell through with the first one. I was like, okay, well, maybe that's a sign that I shouldn't do it. You know how we do. Um, at the first sign of anything that that kind of bolsters our, oh, we weren't supposed to do it. I didn't want to do it in the first place. Oh, child, that's a sign. I ain't supposed to do it. Um, so a little time there. And then I'm procrastinating, waiting, seeing. But it wouldn't leave me. And so... I was like, man, I had to come to grips with the fact that, girl, you've never done this before. It's you're going to there's going to be a learning curve. There's going to be some stuff that you find out after the fact. You're like, oh, man, if I had known that before I did this, there's several things <laughs> that I wish I had known now in these couple of weeks since it's been out that I would change. However, I completed a thing. I finished it. It's done. That's so much better than having it and holding it and waiting. Because the truth of the matter is sometimes we can't learn what the benefit of the goodbye was until we are on the other side of the goodbye. So often we hold up our learning, our progress, our evolution because we don't we can't predict what's going to happen. Listen, I'm a person that loves a rule. I love an agenda. I love an itinerary. I'm that person that if you plan in a trip, if you want to know all of the things, I'm, I'm your girl. I'm going to find the restaurants. I'm going to read the reviews. Not just the top ones, not just look at the stars. I'm going to read the reviews. You understand me? Not just on Google. Um, when I was in the States, I'm living in Germany now. Yelp. I'm doing all of it. 
and not just for restaurants. I'm doing it for museums, for aquariums, for hotels, for Airbnbs. I'm doing it for everything. <laughs> so doing anything that I haven't been able to research to death <laughs> and find out how it goes is a challenge for me. This book was a challenge for me. Knowing that it's out of my hands and there's some stuff that I'm like, oh, but I, oh. But what I'm learning, what God is teaching me is, see, these are things that you can now know because you have gone through this process. You said goodbye to the perfection. Now it's still a good book. It's still well put together. It's quality now. But now that I know some things, will the next one be different? Uh-huh, yeah. Very. Uh, <laughs> there's some stuff that I now know that I'm like, oh, okay, I put that in the arsenal. I got that. This needs to be incorporated here. Got that. So, but I never would have known if I didn't just do. There's so many things that we can't, we can't, we're preventing ourselves from learning because we're waiting we're holding on to things that we need to let go of. I want to challenge you to let go of it and just go, just do, just start, just be. Because if you don't, just let that person go. Some of us allow people to be in our lives because they've been there all this time. Have they been helpful? Are they beneficial? Do they add value? If not, it could be a time to say, hey, well, we're going different ways. We, we don't have the same value system. There are things that I'm doing now that you don't want to or the things that you're doing that I don't want to. Whatever it is, once you think on it, weigh it out. Pray about it. Get some clarity. Do your pros and cons list. Gift yourself the goodbye to that thing, to that person, to that behavior. And see what happens after. How much you learn, how much more free you are, how much more willing you are to take the next step. I know this isn't easy. I just gave you an instant, a slight 1% look into my situation, one of them. There are several things going on simultaneously that I'm working this through with. So I know it isn't easy. And that's why I said I'm challenging you to do it. It's, I'm still in it, so it's a challenge to me as well. But we can do this. The world that is your world and mine, the people that I know, the, in my house that I live with, me that I live with, I deserve to be free of everything that isn't helpful, that isn't working, that isn't bringing value. So do you. And then when you show up in your world and in our world, We'll, we won't be able to deny everything that you have to offer because you'll have done the work. You'll be, you, in the words of uh, one of the comedians I like, it's like a fully recognized adult out here. It's so amazing what you can do, who you can be when you gift yourself goodbye of characteristics, behaviors, family things that you have just incorporated because it's just the way your family operates. Doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it helpful. Doesn't make it worth it. So challenge time. What are you going to say goodbye to? What's the gift that you're going to give yourself? Who's the gift? Who's the goodbye that you're going to gift yourself? Like, we can't anymore. I, I'm, I'm not apologizing. It's something that has to be done. 
I'm going to pray about this. I'm going to think it through. And then I'm going to just tell it goodbye. And I'm going to work on it consistently. I'm going to fail sometimes. It's going to be hard. I'm going to have to create new habits. But I can do it. You can do it. I know it's possible. I'm working through it. I've started. And I want you to start too. That's all I'm going to say about it this week. I could keep going, but I won't. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if any of it resonated with you, um, if you want to see more of the things that I talk about on here, I upload on Mondays. And you can see the videos on Facebook at facebook.com slash empower, M-P-O-W-H-E-R. You can go on YouTube and type in Empower into the search engine, P-O-W-H-E-R. You can follow me on Instagram, Empower540. I have a website now that I'm updating and will uh, begin to include blog <sighs> um, information, not information, blog posts. Help me. Blog posts. Um, and the website is Kimberly in Washington. Dot com and tell a friend like a video share it subscribe follow do all the things and i will see you guys next time bye